notes here. Uh, you heard what she said uh, regarding the claims that you guys have filed against Julius Malema. In her opinion, um, Julius Malema never stated anywhere um, that he plans to take land from whites and give it back to the blacks. But, I mean, we heard his, his court um, speech after appearing in court. He said that he mm. plans to take land from the whites and give it back mm. to the blacks. What are your comments on that? Well, I think uh, listening to, to this comment from this representative of Black First, Land First, and if you compare this to let's say Afrikaner politics or mm -hmm. white politics. It's almost as if the EFF is, is the AWB and now there was some internal leadership battle in the AWB and someone was expelled for ill discipline and now they start their own new movement and now the new movement is angry about the initial movement getting more attention. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's what I gather from listening to Black First Land First about, about the EFF. It's as if they are angry because what Malema is being charged for is actually what they wanted to have been charged for in the first place. But the problem also, I think, is, is uh, with many of these progressive commentators, is it's really hard to take them seriously. Uh, this, this spokesperson was talking, for example, about, uh, the, she quoted the 80% uh, suggesting that 80% of the land is owned by white people. That's not exactly what she said, but that's what she suggests. Mm -hmm. The reality is that I think it's about 82% of land in South Africa is agricultural land. Um, but that includes, uh, or, or let me give another quote, I think about 79% of land in South Africa is, is land that's in private property. But that includes land in, in urban areas, it includes the, the studio that we are sitting in at the moment, it includes mining land and so forth. Mm -hmm. So, so there's, a, there's an abuse of statistics and then she, she talks about Johan Rupert and so forth. But I would have liked to hear if Black First, Land First, or if this representative can even mention some of the companies that Johan Rupert is involved with. I don't think she can. So I think um, listening to the type of statements by this organization, it's really hard to take them seriously because they, sh they, they prove time and time and again that they don't really know what they are talking about. Well, Ernst, we're actually joined also by our reporter, Lungani Mguni, who is live in Newcastle. Good afternoon, Lungani. Thank you so much for joining us. Can you give us an update? Um, I'm sure you spoke to some people after the court appearance this morning. Uh, what were the reactions from some of the supporters, the pro and anti Malima people? Good day, uh, Kio, and a good day to our viewers at home. Yes, Kio, we were just right outside where uh, the EFF's uh, chief and commander, Julius Malema, was giving uh, an address just after his court appearance where he made interesting, uh, where he made rather uh, top, uh, points of uh, re re regarding uh, what he's been charged for. Well, Kio, upon speaking to people here on the ground, we did notice that we had some other political uh, parties who joined in in support of Julius Malema. Well, upon speaking to them, we had to gauge the mood and they, let, they, let, they filled us in as to that um, the reason why they're here is just not to support the EFF but to support uh, the mandate that Julius Malema is pushing of uh, returning all the black land to, right, right, to their rightfully owners rather. They did uh, reiterate this, uh, the fact that they are still members of the IFP and the ANC respectively. It's just that uh, the reason why they're supporting Malema is that he was here during uh, 2009 when they invaded that land and they adhered to the call of the, uh, actually um, uh, taking back the land which is here around Newcastle. Well, that is why we can see that uh, uh, judging by the people that were here today from different political parties, we saw that Maloma actually got uh, strong support here in Newcastle where we had people making their stance very clear that uh, this was just out of support as to they believe in the l l land problem as a per pertinent issue in South Africa. Well, they didn't uh, want to affiliate any political uh, party here, but they did say they are here solely because they do believe what Malema is fighting for here to Today is what they're also fighting for and have been fighting for for the past number of years. Well, thank you very much, Lungani. That's our reporter, Lungani Mguni, live from Newcastle. He spoke to some of the ANC and IFP members who came out in support, not of the EFF per se, but of the movement, the notion of um, implementing land reform through land grabs and land occupation. Well, back in studio with um, the Deputy CEO of AfriForum, just uh, in closing, how do you think this issue of land reform should be dealt with? I mean, uh, with avoiding land grabs and avoiding breaking the law? Well, I think in the first place it must be dealt with with a firm grasp on reality uh, where government's own s uh, studies have found that land that has been taken from whites and given to black people or redistributed in the, in the name of land reform, more than 90% of those farms have lost productivity. So we need to keep food security in mind as well. And I think another important thing is we must, we must 
be consistent in our use of phraseology. In other words, we often hear the terms uh, restitution and redistribution, and they're being used as if it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. Restitution means that where they can be proven, it can be proven that land was in fact taken from someone, it can be proven that it was, for example, a black family living there, that that land must be given back, and Afri Forum supports that. But redistribution, on the other hand, is simply saying, if you are white, you're not supposed to own land, so we're going to take that land and give it to someone who's black because that person is black. And you cannot really consistently argue that Apartheid is a crime against humanity, but that we must do redistribution and simply saying, if you're white, we're going to take your land. Uh, you, you, must, you must support both or you must condemn both. You cannot say apartheid was wrong, but taking land from someone because he's white is, is the right way to go. So, so we must be consistent. Well, thank you very much, Ernst Roots. That's the deputy CEO of AFRI Forum. Thank you so much for joining us.